Yeah! I got it. I got, cause I got the, I got volume here too. Hey now, Nick. Oh, let's try it again with the fucking. Oh, the mics, mics not muted. Yeah, mics weren't on. Hey now. Hey now. That you said that's getting old. The hey now. Who is? Oh, I thought you said when I said hey now, you're like that's getting old. Nah. Oh, all right. Because I'm like, oh, that's kind of like my greeting. I'm wanna, always, I'm always down with the hey now. I want to keep it going. We got, we got people coming up in the stream. This is great. Let me see, do I turn on? Oh, no, I want to do this. Because that's what I did last time yeah. when I got... Yeah, you want to share it. This is like the pre-prep right here. Ah, oh, Merry Christmas, Mike. Yes, Merry Christmas to everybody out there. This, I guess, you could count as our uh, Christmas show. This is our Christmas show. Mark is in the spirit tonight. Yes, next year. See? Yeah. Maybe. You got a little beer right here. Yeah. And I fit this fucking shirt like Santa Claus. Oh, I got boy. the big fucking I gut. And the... When you walked in, I thought you <laughs> were Santa Claus. You're like, Mom, Santa shaved. Oh, Mom, Santa's hair isn't white. He got a uh, gray remover. <laughs> and sideburns. Yes. He looks... Why does Santa look like Elvis? Thank you. Thank you very much. I didn't want to have a blue Christmas, so I came over here. Oh. Now I'm going to go chew on my mama. Oh, Grab how nice. Piece of fat on the back of her neck. I call it. What? Oh, he had a name for that, too. It, it, what? He had a name. Like, Elvis had a name for back fat? Yeah, yeah. For, for just his mother. She had this, like, back neck fat thing, and I guess he named it. Oh, dear. But I don't remember what the name was. Like it was a name like Oscar or right, something? Right, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, boy. And I don't know if that's true or if that's Wait, like a... Wait, stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know we very rarely get to hear the end of that theme song. I know. So what is going on? Getting ready for Christmas. Oh, have you gotten all your shopping done? I think so. Okay. I think I got like a, like a, just a couple things, uh, but I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm done. Now the issue is trying to find someone to rap the get because I don't. I oh, you're not a rapper. It. Oh my God, no. I'm the rapper. Right. Okay. Look, Vinny's in the background <laughs> with his wrestling toys. Can't get it. To come here. Come here. Come. Might as well get it out of the way. Yep. Let's do come it. Come here. We got to We got to get. We got to do it. Come here. Say hello. What do you got? Who, what wrestlers do you got? Uh, John Cena Undertaker. John Cena Undertaker. Nice. There we go. Go play with them now. That was from my mom. Yes. Very yeah. nice. We'll be having... Yeah, and then you got Kevin Owens from The Sitter. Okay. And he's been playing with... I think he's got a Randy Orton, too. So they're going to... Yeah, WrestleMania will be having. Okay, he'll be at doing... The house. He'll be having a WrestleMania. But yeah, I, 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 do you do shopping? I mean, you do online, obviously, not like you're running to the store. Yeah, like online. I'm not, no. I'm but are, are you done shopping? I'm not wheeling to the store, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. Yeah? I'm done. We got, uh, we got, uh, me and my brother. Santini, in, uh, he called his mother. Santini. Or what does that say? Satin and. Satin and, baby. Satin and. See, there you go. All right, Vinny, go over so we can do the show, please. Yes. Uh, you see that? Because it throws me off. Right. Well, you should just talk and ignore them. Yeah. But then you that, acknowledge them, and then it throws me off. <laughs> <laughs> so you're done shopping, then? You've got, you're just waiting for everything to come in, or? Uh, yeah, me and my brother went in on some shit, and, and that's... All I really got gifts for was, like, my mom and dad. Me and my brother aren't exchanging gifts. Well, see, me and my... Well, my brother threw in for the tattoo. Yeah, we... I got him something off the internet. We kind of are out of that, you know, like... 
Let, uh, let's just concentrate on whatever, because now he's got a son, so. Yeah, well, that's what we started. Like, once, well, when my whole family was talking and everybody was getting along, when my sister had kids and once I had kids, that's what we did. We are like, all right, we're not going to do anything and just buy for the kids, you know what I mean? Right, right. But now nobody's talking, so I got more money to spend elsewhere. Right. You know what I'm saying? But no, I got, you know what? I, I gotta tell you something. Okay. I, two days ago, on the bus, mind you. Okay. I almost got into a fight with a UPS driver. What? <laughs> this is, all right. Here is a little step into what I have to deal <laughs> with as a bus driver. And Mike Barone can, can confirm a lot of it okay. because he used to drive for Bernie in Utica as well. Okay. Although I don't drive for Bernie in Utica. But this happens, it doesn't matter where you, if you're behind the wheel of a bus, you're liable you're, to come up to some, with something like this. So okay. I'm coming down Main Street in the mills and I have to drop a kid off. Okay. So I put my yellow lights on, slowing down up to a stop, and where this kid lives, it's like their apartment or house, and it's attached to their business. Oh, okay. So sometimes when I drop him off, one of his parents will come out of the, the shop where they're working, or oh, got you. sometimes they'll come out a little bit down the road uh, out of their house. Okay. So there's this UPS truck. Yeah. Parked in front of, like, their shop. Okay. I guess, you know, dropping something off. Oh, whatever. oh, okay. So I slow down, and she's not moving, so I'm, I'm okay. Or he's not moving. I don't know what the driver was. Okay. So I slow up to see if, you know, somebody comes out of the shop to right. get their parents. Vinny, I'm talking. Um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> see, stay over. Don't come over here no more. Look. Or Santa Claus is not coming to the house. You have got to listen. Santa. Okay? Santa will not come. You told, what did you tell me? You're not going to make a noise. You're not going to bother me. So do it. Oh, here we go. <laughs> so, uh... Okay, UPS driver. Right. So I pull up. I'm Now I'm like I'm blocking her from okay. pulling out. Okay, but Merry I, Christmas. Merry Christmas, shitheads. <laughs> <laughs> so... Okay. She can't get out, but I had to pull up in front because I have to see the door to see if somebody's coming out. Oh, okay. Now, I'm already still looking ahead to see if they come out of the house. Okay, now, do you have your red lights No, on? no, the yellow lights because okay. I'm not stopped. I'm just kind of slowing. Okay. I'm, like, I'm easing up, and I'm looking, and I'm like... Warning. Right, warning. warning, I'm about to stop. Yeah, yeah. I'm a school bus, I have a busload of kids. Somebody's yeah. obviously getting off here. Right, right. So I roll up, and I'm looking, and I'm waiting to see if somebody can. Now, I'm, I'm stopped, but I still have my yellows on. Because okay. I'm waiting for somebody to come out of the shop. Okay. This fucking bitch lays on her fucking horn because I'm in her way of moving. And I'm like, wow. do you know what the fuck I'm... I'm dropping off the most important package I could possibly drop right. off at this place. Right. And you're beeping. Right. So... So you look at her. No, at first I didn't I didn't realize she, would be, she was beeping. Oh, okay. So I rolled up a little bit again to see if somebody was coming out of the house. Yeah. Then I heard the horn again, and I looked out the thing, and I was like, was that the UPS truck? Because in front of me, coming the other way on traffic, was another bus waiting for me to drop off because I have to make a turn. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you guys look out for each other, right? right? So he's like, you know, I'll stop, I'll wait, yeah, okay. then you can make your turn. So I, nobody comes out. Then one of the kids said, oh, the, uh, so-and-so's not here today. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So now nobody's coming. I get up. The other bus driver lets me make my left-hand turn onto the street. Got you. This UPS truck comes barreling out. It cuts you off. No, no, because she's behind me at this point. Oh, okay. Comes barreling out right up up on my ass as I make this turn. Wow. Because one of the kids said, hey, no, the UPS truck's coming and following us. I said, oh, so like even the kids notice like, like stupid shit. So I slow down. I open up my, my little window. Yeah. I stick my head out and I go, is there a problem? Now I've got to watch my mouth because I have a bunch yeah, of kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, is there a problem? And I can't really hear what she's saying. I don't think the color of her makes a difference. Okay, right, right. Was was a black woman or black person. Okay. So she's, Not that it matters. Right, I, right. but... So they're yelling. I, I keep saying she, but I don't know if it was a woman or a man. Oh, oh, okay. You can't really tell. No, no, no. Okay. 
Okay. So they're yelling back at me, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, why don't you just do your job? Oh. I said, I'm trying to drop off kids. What's your problem? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. I just said, yeah, yeah, do your job something. And I'm like, whatever. I close <laughs> the, now they, and I'm yelling out the window. So all the kids are stopped. They're wide. They're like, Buzz, are you going to go beat them up? I'm like, I hope I don't have to. <laughs> That's great. Bus driver, are you gonna go beat them up? Why is she beeping like that? Why are they beeping? And, you know, they're like, why? Are they? And they keep feeding me. Like, oh, gotcha. Why are they doing? I'm like, because they're stupid. Right. Pe- people are stupid. Right. I almost got on the CB and asked them to call because we were right near, right behind the police station. Oh, ask them to call. So the I'm gonna cops. be like, see if there's a cop in the station to have him come over and and ask them what their problem is. Right. You know, like, sorry, I blocked her before, but. She would have been blocked anyway, even if I if I passed her and stopped to let the kid off. Right, right. I get you. I get you. So, we continue with the run. She turns down a side street, and that was the end of that. I ah. But this is what we deal with. You're the best bus driver ever. Somebody said. I heard all about the UPO. Oh, I'm sure she did because her, her daughter rides and she sits right behind me. Oh. So today, <laughs> it's funny. When her daughter got on the bus today, um, she was like, I hope we don't run into any UPS drivers. That's great. I was like, why? She was because you were mad. So even like the kids will break your balls. Oh, yeah. All the, oh, today, okay. we had a, today we had a ball on the Oh, bus. okay. They're, every, they're all riled up for Christmas. Right. And right. I just, I was like, no, we're not, Christmas is no more. Christmas oh, is canceled. Oh, so you were breaking their we're balls. We're going to school next okay. week. No, nothing. <laughs> That's funny. I said you're you're not getting nothing this year for Christmas because it's canceled. <laughs> that's great. And I was breaking. Yeah, was, we had fun on the bus. Oh, today. that's cool. <laughs> and then it's funny because, um, what's that that uh, song, uh, Mariah Carey song? All I want All for Christmas I is want you. For Christmas. So that I'm playing the song. Comes on the radio, and Ann's son in the back. Turn it up! Turn it up! We like this song. So I turn it up real loud. Everybody's singing along to. Mariah yeah. Carey. Yeah. All I and so I started singing, right? Yeah. All I want for Christmas is shoes. <laughs> and now her daughter's standing right behind me and she was like, No, it's you. I'm like, listen, she might want you for Christmas. I want shoes. Shoes. And I kept doing it real loud and not everybody's laughing. We had a ball in Oh, that's day. great. My kids love you. Especially when you tell them to shut up because you're afraid. Oh yeah. <laughs> I did that too. Where I forgot even what song it was. And like just all of a sudden like I'll do this too randomly on the bus. We'll be driving down and I'll just be like, Hey Just <laughs> for no reason. Oh my god. <laughs> and they'll all stop and look like, Are we in trouble? And I'll just be like, No, I was just testing to make sure you guys paid that. <laughs> that's fucking great. So that's what I did the other day. So a Christmas song come on, I go, Hey, you guys wanna shut up? This is I like this song or this is my favorite song or something. Oh god. And they, and instead of like they all just start laughing at me. That's fucking great. And I'm like, what if I really wanted to hear this song, though? Oh, my God. But, you know, yeah, we have fun on the bus. I love great. it. I do. I, like, when I say I love my job. You love it. I really do love yeah. my job. Well, that's good. I mean, you know, there's a couple kids that can be a pain. Yeah, but, but I guess they're better than, like, if you work at, like, a McDonald's and have to deal with fucking douchebag customers. Right. Oh, absolutely. I'd rather deal right. with kids. Right. Like, even, like, the... I don't want to say asshole kid, but like the yeah. troubled kids or whatever. Yeah, even them, yeah. like, you know. The ones that aren't that well behaved. Right. Even them, they can kind of have fun too, you know. Because right. they're like, right. all right, this guy's not going to, this driver's not going to be a jerk off. Right. right. You know. Right. Yeah, but I do. I, I love it. I mean, I just. See, we appreciate you very much. I love the job. It's, it's I love, even when I drove in Utica for Bernie, I, I had fun with the kids. I'm. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, I'm older than them. I'm old enough to be their father, yeah, but... Right, it's just, but, uh, yes. It's like, at the end of the day, like, a lot of these older guys, like, when I first started in the mills, even in Utica, they're like, you know, well, this run could be kind of noisy or this, and I'm so like... what? I'm like, I, listen, I grew up listening isn't to Metallica you, isn't and that what you signed Slayer up for? and shit. I'm like, no, these people who get old, they don't want no noise on the bus, they want it quiet. You're not going to get 60-something fucking plus kids to sit down on a bus... Yeah. All I mean, quiet for the ride. Especially since they don't have seat belts. Right. <laughs> well, they have them. We just don't use them. Yeah, especially since, well, they don't wear seat belts. Right. But, but you're not going to have quiet no, control. No. And they're kids. 
two, two live, live crew. crew. Yeah, we're gonna play that on the bus. Yeah, play that. <laughs> yeah, let me munch on some box. Let me munch on some box. We were those not so well behaved kids. Yeah, I know it's funny because, like, I used to torture bus drivers. Oh, you did. Okay. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. And now I'm. What I used to torture. But the bus drivers I tortured were, were the mean ones, the ones that you know were just like, it seemed like they didn't they didn't if you know like if you don't like kids right you shouldn't be working in a school if you're annoyed by the, then you shouldn't be bus driving this right. and that like right a, you know like everybody has a bad day, yeah, true. true and it's like you can't take it they're kids man right you know what I mean like. That's, it, I don't know. I, I just, I, I look at it different, but I do. I, I They're have, fucking innocent. I love like it, man. That, it's, like, that, that's the thing. I can't be a guy and say I like kids because you automatically think, oh, pedophile. But, like, but it's I not like even, kids. It's not even... Like, they're cool. Like that. It's just... You can have fun with kids. Right. You know, like, I can act goofy and stuff, and it's not like... The fuck is this guy's problem? Right, you know, kids they think just it's be funny. Like, yeah, right, right. I mean, I'm not, I'm like a clown without the makeup. Right, and and your face. I mean, shit. You need to wear makeup. Yeah, <laughs> they won't let us. Nah. Well, <laughs> Otherwise, I would like for Halloween. I would dress up as Freddy or some oh, shit. Oh yeah, right. Put the mask on and drive the children bus. Now. Yeah, right, right. But yeah, no, that we deal with shit like that every day, whether it uh, just a regular driver. Cutting us off because oh they don't want to get in front of the school bus. I'm like I told you the other day. I'm making a turn. Uh, let's say I'm making a right hand turn to go up a street, and a quite a while, quite a distance away is a car coming down the street. Now you know when a bus makes a right hand turn, it says it on there. Wide right turns. Oh yeah, yeah. So I got to go in the other lane to make the turn. You think they would fucking slow down as they got closer to the bus? Uh, not no, not at all. No, not, no. And I'm like, and then they look at you. When they pass by you, like, yeah. Dude, what are you doing? And I'm yeah. like, you were 50 houses fucking up there. What did you speed up just to get down here? Right. I I don't understand the way people drive. I don't. It's it's ridiculous. You drive a bus and you'll see how many bad drivers there are. How many people run red lights? Oh, I bet. Of the bus, I bet. Oh, it's fucking. Didn't they have a thing where you take down their license? Oh yeah. And they get mailed a ticket. Well, or one something? one of our drivers is also a. Uh, cop in the mills. Okay. So yeah, that's what we do. We're like, and he'll even tell us, yeah, just give me the the plate. The plate. Okay. Well, that's. Cool. And then you got to know who it, whether it was a male or female driving. Uh -huh. At least, we give them because this happened, like right in front of the school. Really. Three buses had their stops out, and this car just said. <laughs> and we were like, every everybody's blowing their horn. Like this guy, he did not care. He didn't care. He was just on his merry way. We finished loading the kids. I got up to the top of the hill, and there was a light. Well, the light was red. I got behind him, got his plate, handed it in, and then I said, yeah, but it was a old male driver. Yeah. Gave it to the cop. He came back. We made a statement that I witnessed this and that. I signed it. Yep. And he got, uh, I think he got a couple tickets. It wasn't just one. That's great. That's great. Because, I mean, that that is definitely a rule you should follow. It doesn't matter how badass you are. Like, th there's no reason not to stop for. No, well, like I said, like I understand people get up late and you're in a yeah. hurry, but you come up to a bus, you just fucking take the late. If you're one of those people that are chronically late and you're gonna get in trouble at your job, you wake up earlier. Then you need to figure you got a fucking problem. But right. if you're just, you know, this is like your second time late in 20 years, just take the call in late on your cell phone when you're stuck behind the bus. Yeah, call, call and in and say, "Listen, I'm stuck behind the school bus. I got up loud. I'm gonna be a little late to work today." Right, right. You know, if you lose your job over it, oh well. You know what? Come and tell me, hey, well, I was behind you. I got stuck behind you. I lost my job. Prove to me that you lost your job because you were behind me, huh. and I will help you battle this company that fired you for that because that's bullshit. We'll go to KTV. Look, I saw it on Facebook. I think it was Facebook or some national news. The guy who, um. Walked 15 miles to his job because his car broke down or something. Okay. And he had to be at a job interview for like just a moving company. Oh. And he walked like 15 miles to his job interview so he wouldn't be late. Camped out in front of the place or whatever. The people found out about it. 
So it was a whole big news story, and then the owner of the company gave him his car that he doesn't use. Oh. And it was like, you know, and the guy was crying, and then I'm like, you know, we need uh, work. <laughs> yes. We need He's employees crying. that are dedicated like this, and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, why don't you do that for everybody? Right. Then he's having a ball with he's the paper. Sit over there and tear the paper up in little pieces, and then that's he's gonna right. sit there. We're, we can but, hear it too, no, and we can hear the jet engine. Soon, though, we won't be. I know. The jet hopefully, engine. hopefully soon, and that's a beautiful thing. Oh, since we've already missed it at the top of the show. Okay. You wanted to mention um, the podcast and reviews and oh yeah, all that stuff. What we gotta do. Is we gotta get people, you listeners need to go on these podcast places like iTunes and Google or wh- whatever and write reviews because it helps us. I mean, we're getting people that listen to this shit, but we we need reviews. I, hopefully, give it five stars, but. If you give reviews, it just helps us immensely. Not on the Facebook page, but on the iTunes podcast page, on the Google podcast page, wherever you would listen to a podcast, just go there and write us a what review. About, what about YouTube? Does that help if they comment? or No. No? No. Well, it helps, but I'd rather have them write a review on a podcast. No, that's fine. Thing. You yeah, know? because like the end game of this thing, we're not just... I don't want to keep doing this for free, giving you free right. entertainment. Like <laughs> we should be de- definitely getting right. paid for this shit. Right. We were talking. We were talking about uh, what were we talking about the other day? K Rock Josh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I was bringing up like like ninety eight seven and all yeah. this. Like, <clears throat> I would like like it, yeah. What do you say? If you guys write reviews and we can take this, like I can take this to whatever radio station and say, hey, listen, this is what we do. But yeah, we can clean it up for the air. And, you know, I can guarantee you these th- these numbers and that numbers, whether right. I can or I can't, I don't right. know, but right. i, I got to sell the show. But if, with these reviews, I can say, listen, here's yeah. what people think, here's what you're getting. It's going to be better than fucking douchebag Josh, I'll tell you that right now, K-Rock Josh, or <coughs> whatever the fuck he wants to be called. It's going to be, like, seriously. Uh, Prime, it, no. Amazon Prime, no. But it, it's literally, like... Google or iTunes, wherever they have the podcast. What am I supposed to say? I like Mark's ass. Ass, absolutely. You could say you like Mark's ass. But I don't get up that much. Yeah. You like, it should be a review of the show, like what you like about the show, or yeah. if you like the whole as a whole, or... <coughs> um, it's, I, it's like it's your review, like your book report, or your... Review of a movie or... Right, right. <coughs> what makes you keep coming back every week? I hurts. like it when Mark has to take a diabetes pee. <laughs> yeah, what makes you keep listening? Or tuning in every week? Yeah, is it because I'm in a wheelchair? I don't know. Is that a new wheelchair, by the way? It is. It is because I uh, I, Look, it, I fell today. Uh-oh. Getting off the commode, which is horrible. Like my, uh, because my fucking chair before or after. back there. Oh, after, not before. How um, funny would that be before and then as you and fell, then you, get pooped, shit, you pooped on the floor. Get shit off. I've shit on the floor before. Have you really? I've had like diarrhea in my wheelchair and it's oh, sliding. Oh. And it's sliding off and hitting the floor and you hear it like. That's great. Hitting the floor all wet. Um, I wish we could have mic'd that up. Oh yeah, I bet you'd love that. Um. So, uh, yeah, but I fell, couldn't get up to save my life, had to call the ambulance. Oh, an ambulance? Did they drop you? No, they did not drop me. These guys knew what the fuck they were doing. Okay. Yes. And, uh, yeah, so I'm sitting in, uh, the wheelchair that, like, we got it, like, a wheelchair place that's, like, made for me, but it's so wide. This one? Yeah. This one's wider than the last one? Yeah, yeah. But it looks more comfortable. Like the other one, you were. Yeah, see, I like the other one because I'm more. After. I'm more tight into it, I guess. But you like that better. I like this better. Yeah, or the other one. I like the other one better 
but it's t it needs to be bigger, like taller and a bigger seat and stuff, but I don't need it to be so wide. Because this is really wide. Like, it's uncomfortable to roll. Well, you're not... I'm not saying you're that wide, but you're... No, why no? Well, I there's a good few inches between my love handles and... Uh, See, it's too bad. Like, I don't know where you could... Like, when my dad got one, he just went to the VA and they measured him for it. Like, a custom... Right, right. See, I need to go to, like, a wheelchair place that just sells, like, the custom wheelchairs. <laughs> and get measured and for get one. get measured for, like, a nice one that, like, weighs 12 pounds. Measured for one, like, a suit? Yeah, yeah. I'll be like, why are you taking my inseam? <laughs> oh. I don't... I always found that weird. Yeah, so I'd like the three-breasted, uh, the three-piece wheelchair, please. I want the double-breasted wheelchair. No, that's what I meant. Double-breasted. Yes. Double-breasted, triple-breasted. I wanna, I wanna Windsor knot on the tie. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, this is uh, this is new. It has like a pads on it, for that are more comfortable to sit on because. See, the chair is broken. The lift chair is broken. It doesn't lift up. I had to call the Yeah, place. when were they coming? I thought they were... They coming. already came. They got parts on order. It's going to take about two weeks. Holy so shit. So now I'm What are you supposed fucking, to do in the meantime? Well, now I'm fucking sitting in the wheelchair and being fucking uncomfortable. But I'm getting shit done on my computer, I guess. Well, I, there's an upside. Yeah, that's an upside. Can't walk, but... <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, you're getting stuff yeah, done I'm while you're sitting down. Yeah, getting shit done, yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. And fucking, uh, we got... Now, you see how smooth that conversation went? It wasn't planned. Oh, right, right. Okay? Right. We didn't fucking script out, hey, let's talk about your wheelchair and this is... See, because this is a natural conversation. Right. Okay? And, the, and I bitch about this all the time. I, I, well, I have been recently. About the radio. About right? radio. Listen to any fucking radio morning show around here. K-Rock, Light 98.7, W-O-U-R. Their conversations aren't just like me and Bob sitting here casually having yeah, a conversation. It's almost, it's almost like they get two people that don't fucking know each other. Right. And they just stick them in a studio together and or, say, okay, guys, you got to talk about X, Y, and Z. Yeah, and you got to, you know, entertain them. Yeah. Like, Light 98.7. Oh, yes, you got to talk about this. They were talking the other morning about toilet paper. Right. And if you wrap it around your hand. Okay. Or if you fold it. Okay. Now, obviously, when you wipe your ass is what they're talking about after you take a shit. Right, right. This is something you would figure, like, that would be done on the Stern Show or, yeah, you know, yeah. Bob and Tom. Or... Yeah, some, like, morning show or, like, drive home, maybe. Well, this but was a not, morning show. but yeah. yeah, but not, like, a light night. Not on, yeah, right, like on a K-Rock. Or... Not a light station. No. On a light station, I'd figure they'd be like, hi. Like, I, I wish I could. I should have. Can, can we pretend we're on a light station right, right now? Go ahead. Hi, everybody. Good morning. This is Bob and Mark sitting right next to me, everybody. We're going to kick it with some nice, smooth Kenny G right now. Mark, play that Kenny G. Well, no, that's <laughs> like more of the overnight is like that. Oh, Delilah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. We're like, they have a little bit of a personality. Okay. But it, it's, it's, it's like, uh... Ha ha, I'm on the toilet I right ball now, it up to wipe. and I just realized I ball it up right. to wipe. Well, since you were talking about it, are you a front wiper or a back wiper? I'm a back wiper. Back to front or front to back? I, I put... I'm back to front. front. No, see, I put my hand behind it like the feminine... Front to back. Of, yeah, I go... Yeah. Yeah. I go back to front. Yeah, I can't do it because I'm afraid I'll get shit on my scrotum. Oh, you wipe it off. Yeah, no. You can't do that. No, well... Balls, but I just wipe it out. Oh yeah, no, can't do that. But uh, yeah, no, light ninety eight seven was talking. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. And then the way they were talking about it was weird, and like their little personality that they have, but they don't. It doesn't seem like a forced conversation, but it doesn't seem scripted. Okay, gotcha. It's weird their their chemistry, but it's just weird. You know, and that I think OUR still plays a syndicated show. Right. So that's just terrible. 
Right. Because that's you're getting nothing but a watered down Howard Stern show, right? And a syndicated show, right? And then yeah, K Rock's got their horribly bad morning show that's supposed to be these wacky guys in in high school. Oh right. Now have their own radio show and blah, and it's fucking terrible. Oh, oh no! Then you got Kiss FM with that fat fuck over there. Oh, who's just, it's just terrible. It really and I'm is. like, we could do. We would. Rule, the, and I'm not just talking through my. I'm, I'm telling you the fucking truth. This is why we really, you know, make that review. So you know, um, yeah. share with your friends. Get as many listeners as we can to, yeah. to listen to. This. I don't care if you share the pot. I don't care how you share it. We have multiple ways that you can share it. Right. There are lots of ways to share it. Even if you only listen to a few minutes. Yeah. You just let people know. Hey, let's right. check these guys out. That's They're why funny. We, that's why we got to do that right at the top when we come in right. next time. Maybe next podcast we'll do it and say it right off the top because some people might not even get to this. Right. Exactly. Right. Right. See, uh, Nicole. Well, girls I, do that because they don't want to get shit in a hole. Hygiene, I don't have a hole. Hygiene, but yeah, but you. I just you, get my. I have a yeah, dirty. Yeah, but what taint. if you get? I was just gonna say, what if you get shit in your grundle? No, no. And stuff like that. I wipe till it's clean. I don't just wait. I got three wipes. Okay, done. No, I, uh, I see something on the paper. I wipe till it's clean. Yeah, see, I can't do that. I can't get my hand in between my legs to do I, that. I can't do it like you do it. Reach around back like yeah, that. Yeah, that's weird. But isn't that crazy how that works? Right. Everybody's how, how people different. wipe their ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And why can't we be like a monkey or something? You know. You don't have a hole? How do you poop then? What? No, you're, he's, I'm talking about women do it the front wipe, or they do uh, front to back because they have a hole in the front. Yes, you know, they're, they're, they got the vagine. The vagine hole. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they don't want to get poop in the vagine hole, then you go down on them and then you're... Yeah. You know, eating Hershey Kisses. And yeah, but I don't want, when I eat her ass, I don't want to have, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to get shit in my mouth. I don't do reach around. Man, the... this just, this <laughs> just sparked the conversation, too. We, we went, we uh, went, we, we went from fucking six, <laughs> we just doubled our numbers. I know. <laughs> what the fuck? So, if this is any proof to any radio station at all. If you're going to let Light 98.7 talk about toilet paper and how people, if they fold or they wrap, you just let us talk about which way you wipe, front to back or back to front, and we're going to double numbers. Right. We're going to go from six listeners to 12. I, exactly. And then we don't know what happens on, you know, on the replay because we got good numbers on right. the fucking podcast thing. So that's good. I think... The left one is Vagine. Is Vagine. Somebody wanted to know which one of us is the... Hold on, I gotta go to my phone. Uh, I'm the left one. You're the, you're the right, I'm the left. How do you poop then? Muhammad Ashad asked. Yeah, I think that's a robot. And then... Do, do we know who that is? Motion Haroon. Yeah, Motion Haroon. Finally, Bob and Vagine. Which one of you is Vagine? Yeah, I, don't I think the left one is Vagine. Let's yeah. talk about your mom. Let's talk about your mom. 1,000 viewers then. Let's talk about your mom and daughter. Saida. I don't know who these people are. Oh. Who the... <laughs> this is funny. Like, who are these people? I have no idea. I think they're robots. Oh, she got kicked out. Yeah, Talal Asgar. Yeah. Like I, I can't even. Let's look, let's look at his profile. Let's. I can't. Let's. let's uh, I can't. Let's fucking wrap a port him. Moshin. Haroon. Let's wrap a port that. Let's see who this is. I'm gonna have to get out. Moshin. We're gonna see who the fuck this is. Yeah. Oh, I went back in. Moshin Haru, we're coming for you. What you gonna do, brother? 
Yeah, it's not letting you. It doesn't. See, if we were on my fucking iPhone, we could go right to his fucking profile, bro. Well, whatever. <laughs> Machine Haroon. So maybe we're getting uh, trolled or something. Yeah, that's awesome. I like trolls. Daughter. I don't understand. I, I don't know. I don't know. You want to talk about my mother and I don't have a daughter. I know, neither do I. I don't have a mother for that, for that matter either. I know, but I think they're talking about me. I'm the one on the left. Yeah, but you don't have a daughter. Yeah, I know. Because let's talk about your mom and daughter. Yeah. Trolling I... your mom in bed. Oh, are you kidding me? He is the CEO of iGen Gaming. Whatever. I don't know. I don't know who these assholes are. No, no so, idea. Like if they want to be real and not put up Muhammad Ashid, yeah, and you know say who you really are or whatever. Uh, you know, that's if not, and you want to be a douchebag, then be a douchebag. I, like I don't have to acknowledge you. They're bots. Well, how do you get rid of bots? I don't know. Oh, so should I just, like, block them or something? No, we can't block them. We're going to let them keep talking. Nick, oh, your mom is bot. Ooh, who's that? Replying to Nick, your mom is bot. Motion. Motion her See, I don't even want to get caught up in this because they're, they're morons. Yeah. Or but they're bots. Yeah, that's great. They're bots. And then Nicole's going to argue with them. That's awesome. Nicole, argue with them. All we you are want. not bots. How do you prove that you're not bots? I know, you don't. Like, I don't know what to do here. I don't know either. I, I like, see, just keep letting them comment? I say we just let them comment. Fuck them. I'm just not acknowledge them <sighs> anymore. So that's it's, the thing. Cause... I know. Because the more you fucking acknowledge them, the more they, uh, the more they talk. Yeah, and then it's going to, you know, take away from what we really want to do here. I know, so fuck them. Fuck them. <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, like I'm saying. Oh, yeah, call, no, if you're not a bot, call the fucking pipeline then. Give out the number. 315-293-2999. Yeah, call the number and leave a message. Good. We might play it next time. Can they do that? Yes, they can. We not bot promise. Then call the fucking hotline. Then call the hotline and leave us a fucking message. Yeah, call Whether the hotline. With your fucking backwards ass language or whatever it is you speak. Yeah. Call the number. 315-293-2999. Yes. And say something and, and a message to us. Yeah. There you go. Wait for I'm not waiting. No. Yeah. All right, okay. call me then. Yeah. Again. 315 315- Two nine three two nine nine nine. I'm not gonna say it again or any slower. <laughs> like it's there. Go back and listen. Oh my god, that's fucking great. This is like this is like those. This is what you wanted, isn't it? No, I want real people to argue with. Oh, not <laughs> fucking idiots who. I'll call you. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll see if you call. Yeah, you call me. Like, how do we know if they call? Well, we'll have to check it. Two nine three two nine nine nine. Umar Ali. Yeah, that's the number. Yeah, that's the number. You fuckheads. Yeah, so call it if you got something to say. Yeah. And leave a message. So they're if they're not trolls, what are they? I have no idea. <clears throat> And what what have you got to contribute to the show? What what do you got a view on something? Are you local? Do you you know what I mean? Are you a bus driver? Do you have anything right. that we've said so far? What do you have to contribute? Like at yeah. least the, the some of the people we've had in here have contributed to it. Yes, yeah. I get it. How many more fucking times are you gonna put the number up there? Yeah, that is the number. Yeah, that's a call number. it and leave a message. Yeah. And let me guess the message is gonna be something stupid like how you're gonna bomb my house or this or that. <laughs> They're trolls. I am your mom. You can have my mom. Yeah. I haven't talked to my mother in three years. If take, you talk to her... Take his mom. Just ignore him. That's a good idea. Just Fuck ignore her right him. in the ass. Just ignore him. Good idea. Okay, good idea. Matter of fact, I could always go in and just block him anyway, too. But. Right. Um, so anyways, we were saying... You know, this is why all this, the, the, these comments and these reviews, especially the reviews, right. can help us in the long run because, like I said, the end game is to get a radio show out of this, a television show, you know, something out of this to where we can start getting paid the money we need 
Right. Or the money we deserve. Right. Uh, for doing these things. And, I mean, it's a wasted talent because you have all these untalented fucking people on the radio with nothing to say. Oh, I, you know what? That might be S. Dot. What if it's one of the fucking radio DJs in disguise? Who are you going to talk? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it could be. What if it is one of them? Yeah, it could be. <clears throat> well, and, and again, that, that just proves my point what fucking pussies these D- DJs are. Yes. Who think who the hell they are. Right. You know, like uh, K Rock Josh. You know, that, that's what they do. They're going to send their trolls or their this and that or whatever. Yeah. 404. So. You don't even know what 404 means, bitch. I can get them out. I guess we could. I just do it like this. Block. Oh yeah. Machine. Yeah, block block, block this block this motherfucker too. Talid Asgar? Yeah, block Talid. Block. Yeah, block those Why fucks. Is John Cena? Umar. Oh yeah. Block. Yep. There, they're all gone now. Oh, oh, Saeed, Ibed, Block. Oh. Look, I've already blocked, what, three or four of them? Yeah. And still, I have 11 people watching. Look. Who's that? Tally Algar? What, did I miss somebody? No, I got them. Yeah, they're still commenting. No, no, I've already uh gotten them. See, uh, talent not found. Oh, I see, I see. Yep, all right. We we got rid of them. That's the first time that's happened. I know, that's neat. That's awesome. <laughs> that's, that's pretty neat. <laughs> that's neat. Oh, my God. Wait see, they're back. Uh, they're not coming up on here, though. Yeah, see? They're hackers. Yeah, you're hackers. Okay, well, good for you. Yeah, have fun. You're going to hack a fucking podcast. I'm not blocked. Nice try. We are FBI. You can't block us. Oh, yeah, there it is. Block us. Yes. So bad. You can't block FBI. All right. Oh, well, yes. Well, whatever. I'm just going to ignore them because they're a bunch of fuck right. anyway. You're definitely not full-blooded Italians. Yeah. So, whatever. Yeah, they got some hack... Whatever. They're fucking trolls. <coughs> With nothing else to do. Right. Fucking terrorists. Something. Holy shit. That was great. But anyway, enjoy just making random comments and doing yeah. whatever. I don't... You know what I mean? Like... It's not really going to affect me any. Yeah, it doesn't really... Because I'm just... Whatever. Yeah. Jesus Christ. That's fucking hysterical. So... Plus one... I know, now we're not talking because I know, cause we're, we're fucking we're interested in this. Reading them and... Yeah. We're going to go... We're going to go on Michael Rappaport on Mahim... Muhammad fucking Ahim. Muhammad Ashhead. Yeah, look. That's just some fucking bullshit shit. Oh my god. Yeah, Hysterical. They, they gotta be fake profiles. Yeah, we got our biggest... We got... I don't know. This might be a, be a thing for the biggest fan. It's a good thing all of us are loyal to you and not just going to leave the show. Leave your podcast because of these idiots. Can we leave and start up again or it doesn't matter? Like No. They're just gonna be there. Yeah. Let's see. At all, it's all the times. Yeah, this is really just put a halt to everything. Yeah. 
But we've never had this before. I know, it's great. Mared Millat. Dude. No, they're probably real names. Because that's what these, these fucking... Uh, hackers or, you know, whatever. Right. Damn it, you'd think that it would be easy to do something like that. Yeah, Mike says, well, you got fans all over the world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, evidently. Uh, I guess so. Bring in fucking... That's fucking strange that you're going to come out here. Like, I don't know if we, if, like, shut down and come back, huh? but... Nah. Well, I don't even know. We are not fans. Yeah, we, we are, are FBI. A, you are a fucking moron. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, all right, you're FBI. Rush in here and arrest me for yeah, something. Yeah, come on. Or prove it. Knock on the door and show me some ID. Come on. We're FBI. Yeah. My fucking ass, you're FBI. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be happy. I'm going to me tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kiss my fucking ass. <laughs> I don't know how the fuck to do this. You'd think I would know. I know, right? Yeah, you'd think it would be very easy. <laughs> Grow your man boobs. I'll prove you my FBI ID when you're behind bars. Yes, yeah. Yeah, because cause not showing me your ID... Is going to get me behind bars. Yes, that's how it works. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, I just, I just want to be cuffed. <laughs> I want to be cuffed and read my, right, read my rights by a terrorist. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, my but God. But that's weird. Like, we've never had that, like, uh, before. I wonder how, like, how did you FBI, uh, that's, they're all, the only thing they're going to say, we're FBI, we know everything. I was going to say, how yeah. did you hear about this podcast? Yeah. I know, I, I know right? Yeah. He is so fat. <laughs> Fuck Buddy Incorporated, somebody got. But, Fuck Buddy Incorporated, that was from McNally. He can't uh. even speak proper English. Yeah, just go in on them. That's what I like. I cuffed your wife last night when we were live streaming. Yeah, we weren't live streaming. Yeah, last yeah right. Night. So it's tell me so they one. don't even know. Come on. Oh, Muhammad Asshat is uh, he CIA? Yes. Okay. All right. But no, seriously, how did you guys find the podcast or find out about this? Yeah, they're not gonna say. They're fucking FBI. Right, well, I still, I, like, because yeah. we don't, it's not like we, we're that big on the internet, so I'm just wondering how yeah. they stumbled upon us. I don't know, it's not even hashtagged. Right. Right. That's why I'm saying it's fucking one of the radio DJs. Well, thank God they're not talking shit about your girlfriends. Uh, I, right. Well, what am I supposed to do if they do? I don't know. I don't know. This has been ve this has been the weirdest uh, climax to like a podcast that we've done. Why well, you want to fuck them? Like we uh, see, I don't even have to read it because you can read it if you're. I, yeah. Well, I guess if you're listening, you don't know what they yeah. said. but oh, that's right for the replay. Why do you want to fuck them like we did to you? I, see, that's not Syed even. Syed I bet. That's not even like a fucking proper English sentence, right? Yeah, but you don't. Have, you, anybody can fake that. Uh, yeah, I know. I, I think it's uh, Kiss FM or something. That's what I think. I say fuck. You streamed violence last week. I don't know. Nope. We didn't. We were on last week, actually. W were we? No, we were not. 
We weren't on last week. So. Yeah, last Friday. Were we? No, uh, not Friday. I'm sorry. Saturday. Oh, see, okay. Well, we str- we had violent streaming. This is great. Yeah, that's our mistake behind you. So you're gonna pick on my fucking kid? Yeah. To try and get a rise out of me? Really? That's what you're gonna do? Yeah. Yeah. Look at him. Like it's 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 funny. You have nothing but you're gonna troll a little fucking thing like this. Now we got a picture of your kid too. Wow. Look at that. What, uh, wow. I know. So you're gonna you're under a fake name, under a fake account, right? Talking shit to somebody about their kid. Yeah. yeah you got yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm scared. Uh, why don't you come? You know, like if you you're all, you're all this powerful, come and see me and ask me in person if you can rape my kid. We are. See ma- what happens, well, dude. You don't know what you are, dude. <laughs> we are Mango Buzza. <laughs> no joke. Well, dude. Mango, I don't even know what that is. Mango, uh, yeah, who the fuck knows? They like to fucking do something with mangoes. Whatever, I, I listen. Wait. You should be scared. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm shaking. What? What is that? I don't know. That's what he said. We're whatever. We're Mango Buzad. And left a link. Check our official page. Oh, God. No. See? It's not, it's not easy to do stuff. You know what? That's probably why the... That's probably why a streaming thing would probably be better. You probably have more control over this. I wonder if these are the assholes, although it would be fucking strange, who had something to do with uh, this morning. They, they thought there was a shooting or a killing in Yorkville. Oh, right. And it turned out to just be this fucking loser guy in California. Right. That see, we have actual uh, actual fans that are like, anyway, ignore them assholes and just move on. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Um, yes. So, I guess he got he hacked into the city or to the the village of Yorkville, and got a video feed of the Four Corners or something. Yes, and then made some kind of. Yeah, the, with the speedway or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and then I guess then he he just kept doing it around the country. Right. So I wonder if these fucking assholes are like something like that, where they're just gonna they're gonna chew on us for a bit, then they're gonna go to the next show or you know the next thing or whatever. Yeah. Two fans. That's all I need. Yes. No, see, what you don't realize is... I, you can't move on now. You're right. To a, to a point, they are in our heads. We're, you know... I know. Breaking... Like, the, the show, it literally, it just... We are slowed the fuck down. I know. You ruined it. <laughs> we were doing good. We were having a good conversation. And then these fucking guys came on and stole the fucking show. Nah. Fuck them. But that's what... I, I don't get that. That doesn't make sense. No idea. No idea. They're all fucking weird profiles and shit. No. Okay. Well, fuck that. We gotta move on. Let's move on. What are we doing? I'm gonna do it. Hammer's been caught on streams. Ah, there we go. Ha. Bye, Muhammad, you fuck nut. How you doing? Because he just put up a fucking post. 
He's done now. Muhammad Asshat. Okay. You figured it out? It, well, now I can't scroll through the fucking things. I know that's what happened to mine. Fucking stupid, fucking stupid Facebook. And they want to know how elections and shit are getting fucked up by social media. All right. A lot of people online do it. Wait. Your fans are leaving. Yeah, oh yeah. There they go. That didn't even come up on yours yet. Oh yeah, it did. Yeah. Fucking weird. Okay. What do you got? Let's see. No, no. This okay. We do. It just. We just fucking. Cause now, uh, now, like, I can't fucking do shit on here. If fans aren't leaving, it's because I live in the mountains. I'll always come back. Right. Mark Zingle Zingerberger. <laughs> He's talking shit about Facebook. Here we go. Okay, now your the ass hat should be done. Okay. <clears throat> now we're looking to get rid of. Who else do we have to get rid of? Cause we're fucking kicking them off. We don't give a fuck. This one here. That one, Asahar. Yeah, see how long it takes to do this shit? That's horrible. Asgar. Umar. Who is it? Umar? Yeah, Umar is another one. We're gonna... There's another one, Talil. Where is it? Down. They're right already down. gone. Talil. Yeah, to Leal ass hat. Done. <clears throat> wow, fucking that was guys. that was crazy. This podcast, the end of this podcast was totally fucked up. It's like we got some uh crazy callers in. Okay. I think we banned them all. I think they're all banned. Good. Moving on, I guess. Yeah. Now that we're approaching an hour anyway. Yeah. Now that we're <laughs> approaching the hour mark. Uh, did we really take that much time to fucking ban these motherfuckers? Yeah. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I know. Damn. All right, well... I hope you guys got entertained by that. Did any, did anybody get uh, entertained by that? That's what I, that's what I want to know. Yeah, it uh, started taking a lot out of me. Yeah. Aw, oh, shit. I just stopped the recording. There you go. Mark is falling asleep. Uh, they, they, they drained me. This the stupidity and then trying to figure out. So. 
or blame it on me. Yep, and and I just want to make a comment that said, I I just uh, I hit the space bar on the audio recording, so it probably left out about thirty seconds. Oh well. Oh well, that's we'll be back next posted. week to do another one. I know. I, sometime. <laughs> Mark is falling asleep. <laughs> sometime after Christmas, we'll be here. Let you know what Santa brought us. Yes. If anything. Yes. Yeah, so. Call the pipeline. Call the pipeline. Leave a message. Yes. Uh, if I didn't give it out enough already, 315-293-2999. And leave us reviews. Yes. You know, that'd be good, too. Even voice reviews so we have clips. Yes. I got a DP. <laughs> that'd be, you got a diabetes piss, baby. Son of a bitch. Uh, that's all I do. That's all you do is piss. Is pee. So... I suppose we'll end it without a prayer today. And we'll be back next week. Right. Talk about Christmas, New Year's, and whatever you want to talk about. Right. Santa is bringing you a blowjob. How sweet that, that would be. I need one, too. Not from... Not from Santa, not, <laughs> but not, from Mrs. Claus. Not from Santa, from Mrs. Claus. I like right. the way the beard feels on my balls. Wow. It's soft and nice. Anyway, I'll tell you how that goes. Thank you for tuning in today. And hopefully uh, they didn't, those trolls or whatever, those terrorists, <laughs> the, they didn't scare anybody away. Terrorists. That normally don't happen here. Yeah, I know. Um, but still, we're everywhere you can find a podcast, we are there. Yes. Uh, on YouTube, you can like, subscribe, share. Right. And as Bob said earlier when we were talking, please write the reviews, what you think of it, what brings you back. Even if it's, one every show, or you just want to, if you want to do one right individual one in general, that's fine. But yeah, that does help for our it does, you know, our, our big game plan on getting on a bigger stage. It does, and hopefully getting paid to do this. Yes, well, that'll do it for this week. Uh, we will see you at some point next week, okay? Whether it's it could have at any time, I know. So everybody, look for the surprise. Everybody have a merry Christmas. Absolutely, and, and we will probably be back before New Year's. Merry Christmas and yeah. a happy New Year's. Happy New Year's, baby! You filthy animal. Peace out. Yeah. Da 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 da. -da. Oh, I muted you. Here, do it again. Dude, that was crazy. Seriously. That was the nuttiest thing ever.